Hi, Stephen. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, Stephen, how big a challenge is this game against the rank number two in the world, this French side at home and all the threats that they possess? How, how big a challenge? Is it the biggest challenge you face as Ireland manager? I would say it is, yes. I would say that's, that's most likely accurate. Uh, we, um, you know, France have been to the last two World Cup finals. They won, won the World Cup and then obviously lost this year, last year on penalties to win two World Cups in a row. Um, so they're definitely within the two best teams in the world, as you say, if not the best. And um, so, you know, we, we have obviously respect their, their talent and uh, to come into their backyard, into their home arena uh, and, um, and play them presents, it presents a stiff challenge and uh, one that we understand um, is difficult but we're very excited by it as well and we understand that um, it's an opportunity for us. And what makes you think you can get a special result over not just tomorrow, but also against the Netherlands? Because this, once the draw was made, these two fixtures were always going to be pivotal, weren't they? Yeah, no, we, listen, we knew we got the most difficult of groups. Um, but, you know, I have, I have every confidence in the players. They showed their quality in the game against France in Dublin, which is which was um, a very even affair in, in the, the game of Dublin was quite even overall. Uh, France had more possession than we did for sure, um, but chances created was pretty even. Um, so it's different coming to France, coming to Paris. Um, we understand that. Uh, it's a different challenge. Obviously we're missing several, several of our, our players, but that, that increases the motivation because we know that we, we're up against it, but we increases the motivation to go and do, put in a, a strong performance. And that's, that's, that's certainly our intention. Thank you. Elvigi, please. Stephen, how are you doing? Yeah. Just, uh, with John making the plane, did you give us an update on uh, Andrew's status of the squad? You didn't trouble the team, did he? Um, Andrew's here, yeah, he had a family bereavement. Uh, family bereavement, which is sad. So, um, his, his granddad died. So he, he was he he was at home yesterday, but he's here today. Uh, um, I just I was going to ask you about John he's here as well, so maybe you can both shed an, uh, some information just in terms of coming to terms with making a decision on fitness ahead of the game. Um, is there something as simple as like, doing a fitness test before a game, or is it is there a Conversation you need to have between the two of you in terms of John Lowndes' body um, better than anyone else's experience. Um, yeah, I think. Do you know your body, do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's all right. Quite I well. think uh, you know, you think he seems to know. He's obviously John is John's captain of Sheffield United. Also, he's very very proud, and for him to come off last Saturday. You know, he's never done that before. I don't remember, recall. So for him to come off in a game like that, he was obviously struggling. And uh, he's had to get intensive treatment over the week. And uh, obviously hasn't partaken in full training yet. So we were due to train this evening and we're hoping that he goes well, that he's OK and that he can play tomorrow. Damien Spalman, please. Stephen, um, just talking about evidence of draw and going back to the start of your room when you lost that major and now recovering for the Slovakia game. And Issues about the in between. Do you feel you're, that you were a good look at some point? No, I don't really look at it like that. I think you know, I'm very privileged uh, to manage uh, Ireland. Um, and I'm very privileged, and uh, we've got. I think one of the things about <coughs> the situation is because we've obviously in the attacking players that are missing, uh, five of them Michael Ogafemi, Troy Parrott. Mikey Johnson, um, Callum Robinson, you know, and uh, you know we're missing five players, so I think um, I've left someone out there. Come to me now in a moment, but we the five players that were that were missing, um, Evan Ferguson, of course, yeah, yeah, they, uh, the uh, you know the the five players are missing, but I think because we've given eighteen players their, their debut in that period over the last two years, it's increased the level of uh, squad depth, and it means that we still have a strong team. And I'm, very, I'm happy with the team that we have tomorrow night. I'm very happy with it. And I'm happy with the options that we have. 
and um, I think that's it's an unusual situation to have those players obviously injure some of them are not long term but it's um, it's uh, I'm happy with the squad the team that we have and uh, we're, we're excited about the game we know it's a, many people don't give us uh, much of a chance to understand why you know we understand that uh, but we're going to give ourselves every opportunity and to prepare well and and perform to the level that we need to put in a really strong performance tomorrow night. And John, as a defender, did you have to be excited about coming up against the likes of Kylian Mbappé? And what are the particular challenges of that? Yeah, listen, we know they're a top team, um, but we just have to embrace these games. Uh, I think we embraced it in Dublin. You know, put in a really good performance that we can take a lot of confidence from. Um, you know, I think we deserved the draw that night, and if it wasn't for the keeper's world class save at the end. We might well have got that, um, but yeah, listen. As as defenders, as players, as a squad, um, you know, we just have to embrace it. It's one of the toughest games you can have in international football coming here um, against France. So you know, we know we're going to have to perform to our maximum to to get a result. Um, but you know, we've we've got a lot of belief in ourselves and as a squad, and you know, we we're, we're always brilliantly prepared for games. So you know, we just have to make sure that we go out there and. And perform to the best of our ability. Bonsoir, question pour coach. Um, je m'autorise à changer de ballon en quelques secondes. France-Irlande demain en foot, mais c'est la Coupe du Monde de rugby en France. Est-ce que vous rêvez d'une finale Irlande-France Et est-ce que pour vous l'Irlande est supérieure à la France en rugby Um, <laughs> regarding the Rugby World Cup, yeah, um, Ireland have done brilliantly, and uh, they, you know they've they've uh, obviously deserved their number one status in the world, and um, they've come with a strong chance of competing for the trophy. They've said that themselves, and they're confident of that. So France are obviously very good as well. So it'll be two two of the main teams in contention. Kevin Keeney, please. Yeah, I see him. Uh, just to check, have you any other injury concerns or? Uh, I don't. Uh, we've a couple of people with different different strains and so forth, and one or two that um, will sit out tonight. Uh, but I think we, we should. Everyone should be okay. Uh, Here will sit out tonight, um, and uh, we have to see how uh, Ryan Manning is as well, just on on the strain. But I think I think they'll be okay. And just lastly for me, Stephen, you, you spoke last week when we met you about having to get creative at right wing back in, in Seamus and, and Matt's absence. Could one of your centre backs do that job? I and mean, you've got kind of a lot of centre backs picked in this squad. Yeah, that's a strong consideration, obviously, and that's, that's something that um, that we have to consider. Um, and that, that is a few, few players that are in contention, a few players that can possibly play there. Um, so that. That, you know, that's something to consider, but obviously uh, we, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Final question of the live section. It's, it's a question from the coach. Uh, I got the feeling that these last few months, your team has conceded a lot of goals on a long shot run. Is it something that you worry about and uh, maybe that you spe specifically work on? Or? Yeah, well, I think it's... Um, not in the last couple of months, you know, not probably last year more so than in, in, in the last couple of months, apart from Pavard's shot, which was on the edge of the box, and it was a great, great, great goal, to be fair, Pavard's goal was a great goal, um, but it has, it has been an issue conceding uh, goals from, from long range, all right, that has been an issue over the last year, and something that, you know, we're keen to address. Okay, so from this point onwards is in Barbara until late.